I need to clean out my emails. What's going on? University of California. Questions. I fuck. I got that wrong. Okay. Yeah, I'm a. I guess I'm a self-employed. Was it's drum? Yeah, I'm a Democrat. Why not? Challenges. Place to live. What? All right. Fuck these people. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I need more questions. Is this? I need to turn my website back on. I think. COVID. People. Yeah. Bad. Bad. Everything is bad. Just a lot of questions. No University of California. You get banished. Shit, I'm running out of storage. I should go read about what's going on in the world. Oil is cheap. That seems important, I guess. <laughs> There's stoners like me. Sometimes you just gotta put aside your differences and work the problems with your own. So y'all can I'm so fucking high right now. Feel me, homie. Let me see that iPhone. Let me play. Let me stick it in my ass. Put it in my mouth. Suck on. <laughs> and one day, you know, I got tired of all these questions. You know what I'm saying? I let the girl stick the iPhone up her butt. <laughs> Took the doctor 12 hours to get it out. You know what? It was still working. Okay, I was doing something. Oil is cheap. And um, that's important because what's going on? What? Trump 52 thinks he said that's stupid. That sounds like a BuzzFeed article. Is are people is the news getting stupider? Oh, people are getting stupid, I see. Alright, that makes sense. Wait, there's more accidents, more car crashes. And the people are more emotional, so more emotional makes more car crashes. Ads make us emotional. Politics are advertising now, which makes politicians brokers, and they're working for lobbyists, uh, and then half of small businesses are going to shut down? Oh, fuck. I need to pay my website. I should stop Googling myself. But this was funny. I need to get around to that. Um, well, maybe I should... Make a commercial for my writing, and then people could Venmo me if they like my writing. And now we enter our fourth phase of addiction, dependence, from 1920 to 1968. We've allowed a dangerous relationship to develop between the serialization slash monetization of citizens and the centralization of federal authority for imperial conquest. Our copy dating to the Enlightenment still reads as decent terms of service, for example, Teddy the Progressive, yeah, that's a teddy bear guy, yes, he was busting trust in the early 20th century to free up competition in the market, but there were still some ugly assumptions underlying the American dream. Those who claim the race importance between whites and scattered savage tribes whose life was but a degree less meaningless, squalid, and ferocious than those of wild beasts. Who was that jackass? Teddy Roosevelt. But he was so adorable. The stories we tell ourselves. The same man who fought so hard for nature fought Puerto Rico, Puerto Rican independence. Machine guns in tow to benefit a color wheel subset of civilization. Replace the color wheel for the cultural one and what's different this time around? They don't dance salsa in the desert. Iroquois to Iraqi, the right answers don't change, just the latest lies and cowards who defend them. How could we dare to claim to be bringing democracy to Iraq when we haven't even figured it out here at home first? How could this demonic teddy bear not empathize with the desires in the Caribbean countries for the same terms of service as the American app to the north? 